afternoon. Tipped you off here this morning? Uh, yeah, we received a phone call from a member of the public um, in relation to uh, what they believe is some suspicious activity around uh, growing of drugs at this property at Penfield. Um, as a result of that, uh, this morning members of uh, the Northern District uh, Volume Crime Section attended here on Penfield Road um, and conducted a search of the property. Um, when the police arrived, three people ran from the property. Um, they were caught up with uh, a short time later um, nearby and have been arrested. A subsequent search of the property has um, revealed um, a significant quantity of uh, cannabis plants being uh, grown in pots in a number of uh, glass houses or um, out here at this property. Um, there's believed at this point in time to be in excess of 3,000 plants. We don't have uh, the, the full number of that yet because we're still working through processing the scene, but it's a significant find. Uh, the three people that have been arrested uh, are all uh, men of uh, Vietnamese uh, appearance. Uh, they uh, have been arrested, refused bail, and will attend uh, Elizabeth Magistrates Court uh, tomorrow morning. Is this the one plants? of the biggest fines you've had in years, perhaps decades? Uh, it's a significant find. Uh, Clearly we're, we're always looking um, for this type of, of activity, uh, but it is a significant find uh, in this area. We wouldn't have had a find of this size for some time. Do you a know the street plants, value? Are these plants, are these mature plants or are they sort of small? What sort of? Uh, they vary in size from uh, seedlings right through to more mature plants. Do you know the street value of all these um, you know, plants can, and dried plants combined? Uh, it's a bit early to say uh, what the street value is because we still clearly uh, and not aware yet of how many plants have we have located. There is also a quantity of dried cannabis um, within some of these glass houses as well. So we're at the early stage of the investigation and still working through the exact street value. How long, how long, do, you think, how long do you think that would have been this operation been going on? Uh, given the size and scale of the operation, it, uh, it appears to be have going on for some time. What's the relationship between those three men who've been arrested? Uh, at this point in time, I don't know their relationship. Do they live at this property? Uh, there's some um, some evidence to suggest that uh, people were residing at this property. Uh, we're working through um, searching the house on this property to determine whether the three men that have been arrested were actually living here at the address. Are you How looking big is for the any more co-accused? Uh, at this point in time, we believe we've arrested all the people that are involved. How big is this property? Like, can you just describe the the scale and the extent of what you found here? How many greenhouses are they spread across? Can you elaborate? Um, I haven't been here that long myself, so I can't elaborate too much, but what you can see from where you're standing here, there's a significant number of, of greenhouses. Um, three or four of those greenhouses um, on our search have been found to contain cannabis, um, but it is, it is your, your typical sort of outer suburban Adelaide uh, market garden area. So it's not a small property, but then again, it's not a large property, but there are a number of uh, glass houses exactly. on the property. Yeah, and in the area, would you say that in a way they were hiding this operation in plain sight? I mean. It, it very much appears so. Um, as you can tell from the vehicle travelling behind us, we're very much on a main on a main road. Um, we're surrounded by other other agricultural properties and, and domestic premises, so you, you could say they're hiding in plain sight. Yes. Um, were the men they been on the police radar before at all? Uh, we're still working through that, and it's a bit early to say uh, exactly um, if they've been involved in any investigations prior or where they sit with police. Uh, again, it's a bit early to tell, but uh, given the number of plants that we've located, um, I'd say it will make a significant dent um, in cannabis supply going forward. Darren, do you suspect this is part of like a wider drug operation in South Australia, or that they could have more connections and more drug properties? Uh, look, it's, I wouldn't speculate on that. I, I don't know. Uh, we're very, very early in the investigation. We only arrived here this morning, so I wouldn't like to comment on that we specifically. Used to, we used to see a lot of operations like this years ago big fines like this, is this something that you fear they might be popping up again? Oh, look, it's, we'd be um, closed-minded to think that this behaviour doesn't go on. Um, we do everything we can um, to, to police our drug activity in this state. Um, we're, we're regularly um, finding and locating cannabis. This just happens to be one of the largest scale operations that we've seen for some time. How long will you be here for? Um, Given the, given the size and scope of this, I'd say we could be here for uh, at least two or three days. Um, dismantling cannabis crops is, is not, a, not an easy, easy job to do, um, and it's, we're working in pretty oppressive conditions in, in hot glass houses as well. So uh, we'll be here as long as it takes, but we'll be here for probably two or three days more at least. Is there any warning that you need to send to the general community around here? Uh, 
not necessarily just around here, but uh, just a general warning to the community in general that the police take uh, drug related activity, trafficking of drugs, uh, the cultivating of drugs um, very seriously. And we will clearly make every effort we can to, to find people involved in activity and arrest them. On the status of the three Vietnamese men, I think that you uh, arrested earlier this morning, um, are they here on visas? Are they citizens? Are they, uh, what will happen to them? Uh, again, pretty early on in the investigation, but we are working with Immigration and Border Force just to determine what their status is uh, in relation to why they're here in the country.